Hey guys, it's Shani and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm trying out some Instagram beauty hacks. I've done, I think, two of these videos before, but there are some new hacks that I want to try out and see if they actually work. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is make a lip scrub. So I have this one here from Jeffree Star. If you look at it really closely, it pretty much just looks like sugar. So let's try and make our own concoction. What I'm gonna do is take a tiny little bit of water and then just add some raw sugar in there. So it should look something like this. I'm just gonna dip my toothbrush in and I'm gonna scrub my lips, hun. This one's an old electric toothbrush. I'm just using any old head. I'm gonna to go to town. Oh, it's flat. I'm gonna have to do it manually. Mmm. Oh my god, it hurts so much. Mmm. It's definitely getting off the dead skin because it hurts, which means it's working, right? Mmm. It feels kind of cool. I wonder what it tastes like. Mm, yum. Okay, so I just washed it off and I would rate that one literally a 10 out of 10. My lips feel so smooth. I have no dead skin on there. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm just going to put some lip balm on because they're feeling a bit like dry. But that tasted amazing. Oh, I feel like this one is really going to work. So what I'm doing is taking a lighter foundation. So just say you're out of your dark foundations. You have a dark fake tan and you need it to match your neck. So I'm going to take a bronzing beauty balm and add it to my light foundation. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix some on a metal plate. I'm always fake tanning, so I feel like this one's going to be amazing. Adding some beauty balm. This is kind of like a bronzing balm kind of thing. So just adding a little double of that. So it should look something like this. I'm just going to mix the two together. So with that foundation, I'm going to use the sock Instagram hack. So I've done this in a separate video, but I didn't wet the sock. So this time I have put some water on this and then I've rinsed it out. So I'm just going to roll it up into a little ball and it's going to be just like a beauty blender. Let's see if it works better wet this time because last time it like left little streaks on my face. Just going to take that from the back of my hand and I'm going to start patting this into my face. You can definitely still see like little lines all over your face, but... Let's keep blending. I mean, it works pretty well for a sock. I literally just use all of that foundation for this little portion of my face right here. It's just all inside the sock now. I feel like using your fingers would be much more effective than a wet sock. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10. As far as the beauty balm goes to make it darker, it definitely works. But you need to add a lot of the bronzing product in there. Just because it isn't as pigmented as the foundation. So the foundation is going to be showing more than the beauty balm. Oh my god, I just added so much! Oh! As you can see around my nose area, it's just not blending, honestly. It's just like, I'm moving around every time I try and pat it. Um, but this is the best we're gonna get, to be honest. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Now let's move on to the eyes, and so then we can go back to the face after. So, what I'm gonna do is take the ColourPop eyeliner. This is just a black eyeliner. Apparently, if you draw a cross right down here on the eyelid it's going to give you the nice effect of like a smoky eye all right here goes nothing oh god i'm actually just going to use the um stealer eyeliner instead because it's a lot more creamy now i'm going to go in and blend this out and you've got to be quick because i feel like it's going to just dry really easily i'm just going to draw this all over my lid because i don't want a cross to be stuck on my eyelid Let's make it extra smoky. And I'm just using a synthetic brush to blend this out. <laughs> it's not blending. It's stuck to my eyelid. Okay, so I think this is the best we're going to get it. It looks so messy, but I mean, it was fun to experiment. Now, apparently, you can use mascara as eyeliner. I feel like, obviously, this could work to an extent, but it's going to be a bit patchy. But let's give it a go. I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and then I'm just going to take a winged liner brush and start aligning my lash line. Oh my god. 
Oh no, look at that wing, it's tragic. It does dry really, really fast, so you have to work quickly, which, I mean, why would you want to work quickly if you're doing your eyeliner? It's the hardest thing ever. The next beauty hack is going in with some eye drops if you have a really old mascara that has basically nothing left or it's just dried up. So I'm going to take the lid off and just add about three drops in my mascara. This is just clear eyes eye drops. Oh god, this does not feel right. One, two, three, four. The wand pretty much has nothing on it, so I'm just going to swirl it around and see if it works. Please ignore my eyeshadow, if that's what you want to call it. Oh wow. I would have to say this is my favorite hack in the video so far, because before the brush hardly had any mascara on it, and now it's working as good as new. I just went in with some concealer under my eyes, and when I was doing that, I realized that all of the mascara on my lid right here is transferring because obviously the eye drops are wet, so there goes that idea. Next, I'm going in with the Johnson's Baby Powder, and I'm gonna try and use this to bake under my eyes. Apparently, this can give you cancer if you inhale it. Um, I'm not going to breathe in for this part. Just putting this on the back of your... Okay, so my first impression is that this product goes on exactly like a translucent powder would. It's really smooth, it feels nice on the face. So we're going to dust it away and see if it gives a white cast. Obviously it will, come on now. Oh my god. I actually have no words. <laughs> I would rather let my concealer crease under my eyes than put this under there ever again. It's making under my eyes look really aged. It's like clinging to all of my wrinkles. Um, it's leaving a really, really bad white cast, as you can see. Now, this is how you make yourself look 20 years older than you actually are. Look at that. <laughs> Next beauty hack is taking some cocoa chocolate powder and using this as bronzer. As a lot of you guys would know, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil has cocoa in it. So, I mean, let's try it. I just dipped my brush in there and now I'm going to tap off any excess and then ooh, blend this in like I would with a bronzer. Oh my god, that's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, I hope I'm not getting too cocky with this now. This is working really, really well. Like, what is happening right now? I'm going to try and go around my forehead and voila, we have a nice bronze complexion now. This is amazing. Okay, so the next one is using an old toothbrush as a spoolie to like brush out your eyebrows and stuff. Sometimes spoolies can be expensive and this would just be free if it's an old one and you're ready to buy a new one. So let's see if it tames them at all. Oh wow, it's brushing all those knots out. How stunning. Now I'm going to go ahead and spray some hairspray on here so we can set the brows. This is so weird. It definitely is setting my brows in place and I am very impressed right now. They are not going anywhere today. This honestly works just as good as an eyebrow setting product. I mean, it's easier using like the gimme brow, but if you're on a budget. <laughs> the last beauty hack is turning any lipstick into a metallic lipstick. So I'm just going to go ahead and coat my lips with the MAC in the shade Faux. And then taking any highlighter, I'm just going to pick up some with a brush and pack this on my lips. Oh my god, I'm actually really impressed. Look how good that looks. <laughs> okay, so there we have the finished look. I look so tragic right now, but it was really fun to just try some different hacks and see if they work. I feel like majority of the time hacks are pointless and stupid and shouldn't even be done, but I feel like it's fun to watch them. The highlighter one was definitely my favorite. Eye drops one at first I thought was really good and then it just transferred onto my skin because the product is wet. Another favorite of mine was the eyebrows and the bronzer. The eyes were just trash. The powder was trash. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!